Many of you are accustomed to seeing me in this room and you're accustomed to this rocking chair. I've been in this house almost 30 years and most of the time this rocking chair has been right here in this place until Davy Jones came here to record. I was sitting here one night and I was thinking about all the great folks that I had the privilege of interviewing when I was on radio and how when I was 10 years old, my family went up to New York. We went to see the musical Oliver. Davy Jones played the role of the artful Dodger in Oliver and I still had the playbill. And I thought, wouldn't it have been great if in my career somewhere I would have had a chance to cross paths with him. But, you know, I've, I've interviewed so many people and had such a great life, I, I can't complain, but that would have been a nice thing. I would love to have had him sign my playbill. So I was at this very desk and the telephone rang. It was a friend of mine from a local bank. And he said, can you keep a secret? He told me no one else knew about this except him and a couple other people, but they were bringing Davy Jones of the Monkees to town to do television and radio commercials for their bank. And would I record the audio for radio? Uh, hold on, let me think about it. Yes, yes, yes. Maybe I've shown you this picture before, but it was taken right here in this chair. So I know what you're thinking. Well, well that's a different rocker, isn't it, Bill? Well, well, yeah. I moved it up to the front bedroom because you can't have just anybody sitting in Davy Jones' rocker. And most of the time when I'm not doing a video in this room, the chair is right here. I showed him the playbill from when I was 10 years old and, and saw the musical in New York and, and he started telling stories about it and I said, you know, I would love it if you would autograph this. And he looks at me and he says, you know, it'd be worth a lot more if I didn't autograph it. And I said, well, it'd be worth a lot more to me if you did. I can't tell you what an honor it was to work with him. The stories he told were absolutely amazing. And the commercials turned out very well, thank you. He had such a fun spirit about him, such a joy of life, and the music. Holy smokes, the music. Davy Jones died February 29th, 2012, and he is going to be sorely missed. Till TV making, they found a vlog to save your life.